Hi, it's Marta here with EagerFit, and this is your quick 10-minute bar workout. You will need some kind of a support, which can be a sturdy piece of furniture and an exercise mat if you choose to use one. If you want to do a full-length workout, be sure to check the description bar below this video. I will include links to workout videos that you can do after completing this routine. Now, if you're ready, then let's get to it. Come into a straight arm plank with hands slightly wider than your shoulders. Pull your abs in and we'll start with a little push-up combination. Now step out right, step out left, push up down, up, step in right, step in left, hip spike up and down. Again, step out right, step out left, down and up, step in right, step in left, hips go up and down. We'll do two more on this side. Make sure you're leading with your chest and not dropping your head down when you're coming into the push-up. Last one. And take it to the other side. So now start with your left foot, right foot, push up down and up, step in left, step in right, hips go up and down. Two more. And last one here, your best push up here. And last time, hips go up and down. Now center your right arm and open your body up to the side, left hand goes behind your head. Left elbow closes and opens. Drop it down and open it back up. Take your gaze with you. Look down towards your right hand as you close the elbow and look straight ahead as you open it. Last two full range. Now take the elbow down and pulse it out. Twist and twist. Four, three, two, one. Now come into a straight arm plank and just hold it here. We're only here for 10 seconds, so don't give up. Make sure your abs are nice and tight and you're creating one straight line from head to heels. Center your left hand, open your body up to the side, right hand goes behind your head and elbow drops and lift. Close it down and open it back up. Halfway. Another three. Last one. Now take the elbow down and twist it out. Twist and twist. Four, three, two, one. Come back into that straight arm plank and hold it here one more time. Another 10 second hold. I know you can do this. Last five, four, three, two, one. Drop down to your knees and shift your seat back. Slowly roll your body up and let's move on. Head over to your support. Once you're there, rest both forearms on the support and extend your left leg back behind you with toes pointed. Bend the knee of your supporting leg, pull your abs in and now take your left leg up to hip height and lower it back down. Lift it up and lower it down. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed, your core is tight and your leg is straight. We have eight more here. Pay attention to your hip bones and also your chest and make sure that everything is squared off and is facing straight down towards the ground. Last three here. Two. One. Now bring the leg up, bend the knee, bringing your heel in close to your seat. Now pull your knee into your chest and press it back up. Pull it in and press it up. In and out. Add a little crunch with your abs as you pull the knee in and really squeeze your glutes as you press the leg back. Last two. Last one, hold the knee lifted and circle it out. Little circle and circle. Tiny little movement here. And take it the other direction. Circle and circle. You can barely see the knee moving. And now just press it up till the end. Press and press. Find your highest position and work from there. You're halfway there. Final eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, and last one. Lower the leg and we'll switch sides. You can stay where you are, but this time extend your right leg straight back behind you with toes pointed and bend your left knee. Pull your abs in and take your right leg up and down. Take it up to hip height and lower it back down. It's a very light tap on the floor when you take the leg down. Lift it up and lower it down. Check in with your shoulders, make sure they're relaxed and see if both hip bones are facing straight down towards the floor. We're trying to avoid any opening in the hip. So we're working really like the base of the seat. Last two. Last one full range. Now take the leg up, bring your heel into your seat and pull the knee into your chest and press it back up. Pull it in and press it up. Remember to add a little crunch as you pull the knee in and squeeze your glutes as you press the knee up. Pull and crunch, press and squeeze. Last two. Last one, hold the knee up and circle it out. Circle and circle. And reverse. Circle and circle. You really should be feeling this right at the base of your seat. And press it up till the end. Press and press. Your best and your highest movement. Your final eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one. Lower the leg, come down to the floor and rest on your left forearm. Shift the legs forward slightly, bend both knees, point the toes and place your right hand behind your head. We'll lift both legs up at the same time. Now legs go up and down at the same time as elbow closes and opens so you're closing your entire body and opening a lot of side body work happening here but also make sure that you're pressing yourself up and out of that left shoulder burn out your right oblique here this is quick and effective last one here now bring the legs up and just pulse it out pulse and pulse little side body crunch crunch and crunch you're almost out Last six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take your legs down and quickly switch sides. Now come onto your right forearm. Legs go slightly out in front of you with knees bent and toes pointed. Left hand goes behind your head and deep inhale. And as you exhale, legs come up and down, up and down. Close your body and open, close and open. Last one full range. Now take the legs up and pulse it out. Pulse and pulse. Little crunch and crunch. You got this. You know you're almost done. Last six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good work, you guys. This was not an easy one. Now lie down on your back. Lift both feet off the floor. Toes are connected and knees are apart. Feel the shoulders off the floor and place both hands behind your head. Now both legs extend and bend. Take them out on a diagonal and bring them back into diamond shape. You're maintaining that external rotation from your hips. Out and in. Out and in. Keep both elbows wide and your belly button pulled in towards your spine. Toes stay connected, reach forward with both arms and curl up. Curl and curl. Aim to get both shoulder blades off the floor. Keep curling, extend the legs straight. Curl and curl. See if you can drop your legs one inch lower. You can rest your head in two, one. Now take both legs into a tabletop position and tap your toes to the right and to the left. Tap to the right, tap to the left. Right and left. Halfway there. We are almost done with this express workout, so there's no giving up now. Give everything you got. 
Last one here. Legs go into tabletop position. Curl up, twist right with hands behind your head and start curling up tempo. Curl and curl. Twisting over to your right. And take it to the left. Curl and curl. This is your finish line. You're almost there. Come back to center, reach both arms forward and take it up and up. You're almost there, this is it. Maybe take both legs straight for final six, five, four, three, two, and last one. Pull both knees close into your chest, rock your body side to side, and take everything out long, stretching and lengthening your spine, maybe arching your low back, taking a deep breath in and a deep breath out. And that was today's quick bar workout. Don't forget to check the description bar down below for other workout videos. Please give this video a like and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. And just one last thing before I let you go, if you enjoyed such a short and effective workout, I do have a free five day bar workout challenge that you can join that is absolutely free and you will receive a new workout every single day in your inbox. I will drop the link in the description bar down below as well. I think that's all. Thank you guys so much and I will see you next week.